Hey, Pat LeFemin here with Bowsight.com. Quick crash course in maximizing trail cam batteries. Let's get right at it. Three types of batteries. First, rechargeable batteries. The things you put in those little chargers at home and you recharge them, they have little AA batteries. They suck, all right? Don't use them. I never use them. Uh, they're not recommended in any trail cameras, so don't even waste your time. The second one, standard. Double A batteries, alkaline batteries is the technical term for them, okay? Uh, I buy these and I use them all the time uh, in the early season. If it starts to get cold, I won't use them, but when it's warm, they're the most cost effective thing to use. So I use these a lot, uh, and I found that the best way to buy them is to go to Costco or to uh, BJ's Wholesale Club, and I buy a 48 pack. But right now, I think they're $17 for 48 of them. Um, and that's the way to go. If I'm not running alkalines, and if it's cold out, I'm running these things. These are Energizer lithium batteries, okay? They're little silver things. You, they're about twice as expensive, um, but they're not affected by the cold, uh, and you get more charge out of them. There is one downfall to these batteries, and I can't stand it, but there's, it's just physics, and there's nothing you can do about it. When you're using an alkaline battery, so let's go back to the old Duracell battery, and you look at your trail camera, you'll see your power decreasing almost like a gradual graph. It'll go from 100% gradually down to zero. With these things, these energizers, they go from 100, 100, 100, 100, 99, 99, whatever, boom, and they go dead. <laughs> it drives me crazy. It's like having a gas gauge on your truck that doesn't work, so you never really know how far you got to go uh, before you run out of gas. It's the same thing that drives me crazy. That's the only downside with these Energizer lithium batteries. But other than that, I run them in all the time and from November on up here in upstate New York or anytime I'm using a wireless modem. Now, you got to run batteries in your trail cameras at all time, but you have some alternative external power sources. You have basically two choices. First choice is this. And this one is made by Moultrie. I believe there's other products out there. Uh, this is your camera power panel, all right? It is a solar panel that hooks up on a device like this, or I guess you can put it on, mount it on a tree if, if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, um, because a tree has shade, and shade is not good for a power panel. I will be honest with you, I don't really use these very much. I think if I was hunting in Texas, where I've got full sun for... 23 hours a day, I think these things would be great. Um, but where I am in New York State, I'm hunting in trees, there's lots of shade, uh, it's overcast a lot during hunting season, so they just don't work that well. Um, so I don't use them very much. Again, down south, you got full sun, if you can put them in a field, you know, point them towards the south, they'll be fine. Uh, but up here, they just don't work all that well. So I don't really use them. However, these things are the cat's ass, all right? These are the Moultrie battery boxes. I am buying these like crazy now. They work fantastic, very simple. There's a 12 volt rechargeable battery that sits in them. I always buy two of these 12 volt batteries. All right, one of them comes with your battery box. Uh, you buy a spare battery and then all you do is when you visit your camera in three months, you just swap out this battery and you get a fresh battery. You're good for another three months. I very rarely visit my, my remote cams anymore uh, because of this battery box. I love it. It is the best thing ever. Uh, and that's all I'm using, especially when I'm running uh, any kind of wireless trail camera like a Moultrie Mobile. If you're not running it, uh, you're crazy. It is the way to go. Now, this thing will power, like if you're using Moultrie Mobile, it's a separate unit for the modem and it's a separate um, camera. You buy a Y cord, they're pretty cheap. I think they're like, I don't know. I don't know what they are. They're not expensive. You hook that up. This Y cord will allow this one battery box to power both your camera and your modem off the same battery box. Very, very simple. So as always, have a safe and happy hunting season. Hope you get a big one. Hope you get some good uh, pictures to share on both sites and uh, have a great year.